Today we're going to talk about something called multidimensional arrays inside PHP. We're going to talk about what they are, how to create them, and how to output something inside the browser using multidimensional arrays. So the basic idea behind a multidimensional array is that we can have an array like the one I have here that has three pieces of data inside of it, Daniel, John, and Jane. And instead of having data inside this array, we can have another array inside of it. So if we were to go ahead and delete Daniel, for example, now we have two pieces of data. And instead of the first data, I'm just going to go ahead and create another array. So right now, as you guys can see, we're starting to get something that might get a bit confusing because we might be thinking, why do we need to have an array inside an array? One example could be if you pull out data from a database that you have online and you want to insert it inside an array. Now, because data from a database, when you pull it out, already gets pulled out as an array, when you insert it into an empty array like the one we have here, you get arrays inside arrays. So we need to learn how to actually you know, use them and what they are. So right now inside this first array that I have inside my array, I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of numbers. So I'm going to say we have one, we have two, and we have three, just so we have some numbers. Now, just to make this more nice to look at, I'm just going to go ahead and move this down. So we have everything on separate lines. So I'm just going to go ahead and move it down like this and like this, and let's just close it off there. So now it looks a bit more clean to look at. So what we can actually go ahead and do now is we could actually go ahead and test this. So if we were to go down on the next line here and do something called print R, which is a function we have inside PHP in order to spit out arrays inside the browser and see how they look like. I'm just gonna go ahead and say print underscore R parentheses. And I'm gonna put in my variable data inside the parentheses. If I go back to the website, refresh, you guys can see we get some numbers. Now, what we have here is the first array inside our document, which is variable data. Inside this array, inside space number one, which is zero because we start from zero, we have another array, which is right here. And it says we have uh, one, two, and three inside this array. Then afterwards, from the first array, we have our second number or our second data, which is John. And then we have the third data, which is Jane. So as you guys can see, we now have an array inside spot number one inside the original array. Now I might be asking, how do we then spit it out? Because let's say I have this multidimensional array and I want to spit out some data. If I go ahead and comment out our print R, go down to the next line and say, I want to echo variable data and I want to echo out the first piece of data, which is the, the array we have in here. And I want to spit out, for example, one from this array. Now if I were to, if I were to spit out data number two, I could go ahead and say I have, you know, spot number one, which is zero one, which is John. If I were to echo that, you would get John. But what if I want to get the data from an array inside an array? What we can do here is we can say, okay, we have spot number one or zero inside the, the original array up here, which is a separate array. And if I want to go into that array, we need to add a second brackets afterwards. And from here, we can put in the number of the data we want to pull out from it. So if we want to pull out number one, we say the zero spot from the first array is this array. And then the zero spot from that array is one. So if I refresh the browser, you guys can see we get one. Again, if we change this to one, then we get two. Very basic. Um, so that's basically what a multidimensional array is. And in the future, you will be using it when we get into stuff like object oriented PHP programming, which is a different type of programming, which is a different type of programming using PHP code where you structure everything a bit different. Then you will need to know how to do multidimensional arrays, which is why it's important that you understand that you can actually put arrays inside arrays like we did here. Now, if you guys are interested in how to actually loop out data from a multidimensional array like we did here in the previous episode where we talked about how to get data from a database and insert it into an array, uh, I talked about how to insert or how to loop out the data from multidimensional array using the for each loop we have inside PHP. So if you guys want to see how to do that, you can go ahead and watch the last episode where we did that at the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.